Many high schoolers are kicking off a process a lot of people have been through looking at and applying to college. But their experience during a pandemic is quite different. News Center Maine's Hannah Deneen takes a closer look. I just applied to Colby and then yeah, I got into UMaine. I applied early action to them. I'm also looking at the Colby, Bowdoin and Bates. Chloe Burke and Elizabeth Miller have been touring Maine colleges during the age of travel restrictions and social distancing. Even though Elizabeth lives in Massachusetts, Chloe in Southern California. I mean, it definitely is weird. Weird because tours these days are completely virtual. It's usually one of the student tour guides walking around campus and there's one camera person just following them. And huh. so they'll stop at like a place and be like, this is our library and we have <laughs> these things in it. Welcome to Fogler Library here on campus. Virtual tours present challenges. Well, they definitely present a perfectly polished um, look at the best parts of the campuses and it makes it hard to differentiate between the schools. It's just hard to like figure out which schools you click with. But also benefits. So obviously I can definitely see a lot more schools. So it's been unique to see the makeup of our applicant pool. Chris Richards with UMaine Orno says the virtual shift seems to have prompted more student interest from outside New England. 17% up in New York applications, 50% up in applications from Maryland. On the Colby College Hill in Waterville, a similar situation. All 50 states are represented, um, more than 150 countries, 7,300 high schools. Colby Vice President of Enrollment Matt Proto says the school's admissions department has been increasing a virtual presence for years now. Particularly for low-income students who may not have access to the resources to be able to go visit these, per these campuses and engage with people in person. In many cases, virtual college tours are still led by student tour guides. Our students are leading prospective students through the virtual tour that's on our website. For an authentic and unfiltered look at a school, Elizabeth recommends seeking out a student blogger. Like when you're watching a YouTube video of a kid who goes there, they might tell you like, the food at this dining hall sucks, or I don't like classes in this department. Vloggers, Zoom information sessions, virtual experience tours. It's not the college search of days past, but hopefully allows each student to find their academic fit. Hannah Deneen, New Center, Maine.